Can you believe 2018 is almost over, like three weeks left until the end of the year, <laughs> but we want to help you finish it off strong. Our life coach, Cynthia Bazin, is back this morning with five tips to do just that. So you still have time, right? We put a lot of dead weight on deadlines, end of the year, first of the year. Right, right. right. We do have time for the end of the year, and we can set ourselves up for a great year ahead. So Sounds we'll be good. talking about the holidays and also January 1st. January 1st, 1st is coming. really good. All right, number one, finishing off 2018 strong and inspired. Number Keep your health and the stress in. In check. Yes, you know, we've all been there before, right? Burns out, sick, you know, at stress during the holidays. Oh, wow. That's the last thing we want to do. So get some appropriate sleep. There's still some time to call the local market, maybe to get some food prepared so you don't have to do all the work. And also don't overdo on the drinks and the food. You know, my clients have tons of health and fitness goals for January 1st. The last thing you want to do is on January 1st feel terrible, right? You right. want to feel refreshed and ready for the new year. A lot of sugar out there right now. Yeah. It makes you feel horrible. Just it's tasty. Moderation. Moderation. <laughs> moderation. moderation. Uh, number two, get that important thing off your to do list. Right. Is that, you know what, we probably have a couple things we didn't accomplish in 2018, but what is that one thing you don't want to carry over into January 1st? So maybe it's an important conversation you have with someone. Maybe it's one work project. Maybe decluttering and organizing. Mm -hmm. On January 1st, you want to be ready to rock and roll on those new goals you set. So it's going to feel really good by cleaning something up, getting one more thing done. True, true. Number three, uh, serve or contribute in a meaningful way. Yeah, wouldn't this yeah. be really cool to help somebody else finish their year strong? So, you know, doing something that, whether it's volunteering for an organization, maybe writing a great uh, recommendation for mm -hmm. somebody, mentor somebody, um, donate some money, you know, start off somebody else's year right on the right foot. All right, a lot yeah. of organizations who love, you know, they're, they're very dependent on this year being a big contribution time. Yes. If you can help them do something great, I Just like that. Just a little bit would be helpful. Yeah. Yes. Uh, take inventory of your wins this year. Yes, is that, you know what, a lot of times people think at the end of the year here, you know what, I didn't get that much accomplished, but if you really take a look back, maybe do this with friends or family, take a look back at what you accomplished, you've done a lot more than what you actually think, and then, you know what, look at that list and say, you know what, you can get one more thing done. So it kind of gives you momentum to push forward on one other thing, like we said, to get clear off your plate. And speaking of one thing, set one goal that excites you. Yeah. 2019. Wouldn't that be exciting? I don't know if you've done that yet, but it kind of finishes your year yet. strong yeah. and going, you know what, something new, something like kind of fun, you know, something you're looking forward to for 2019 mm -hmm. that will help you look forward to the holidays and finish off stuff strong so that you can start off the brand new year fresh. You can look at it two ways. You either yes. have only two weeks left or we have two weeks left. We have left two weeks left. We've got plenty weeks. of time. Uh. Oh, two, three weeks. <laughs> you got plenty of time. Plenty uh, there of time. Are five ways to help finish the year strong. Yes. Uh, we're going to put Cynthia's contact information there on GoodDaySacramento.com. At the top of the page, click Show Info and then Today's Date. Always nice to see you. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. Yes, happy Holidays Merry and almost Happy New Year. Yay. We'll see you in January. Yes, absolutely. Sounds good. Happy More Good holidays. Day coming up after this.